He was an elder of the nation. He was in the same footsteps as uh, Tutu, who was there when it was not fashionable to be there. And um, when someone like that passes on, such a powerful, towering figure of our nation, you have to put everything aside and go and show your respect. Greetings, all brothers and sisters. So today I don't have much to speak, but I want you to watch uh, this video uh, from the leader of Economic Freedom Fighters, Julius Malem. And my condolences to the family and the church because Pastor Macaulay has always been there for us. Some of us know him from when we were too young uh, in politics. And uh, he always showed up in difficult situations and always provided counsel and always wanted to provide advice and guidance on how complex, difficult issues which can bring our, our country into potential division. Those issues are amicably resolved in a manner that will satisfy everyone. He was an elder of the nation. He was in the same footsteps as uh, Tutu, who was there when it was not fashionable to be there. And um, when someone like that passes on, such a powerful, towering figure of our nation, you have to put everything aside and go and show your respect. He was a man of God, he was a man of peace. Uh, when we were arrived in Parliament in 2014, there were serious uh, commotions and tensions and fights. He flew all the way to Cape Town with his own money to come and try and find a common ground amongst all political parties in Parliament. When we were in the ANC Youth League uh, and the ANC was expelling us from our organization, he came to try and maintain peace uh, between us and President Zuma. When we formed the EFF, he came uh, to pray for us, to encourage us, and to always uh, speak life to us. So Julius Malema didn't end up there. Uh, also, he met the son of uh, uh, Pastor Ray and have the discussion. And Julius Malema uh, speak many things with uh, the son of Pastor Ray. And he also, Malema, said that uh, Pastor Ray is the one who was preaching about the unity of South Africans. So once he speak, uh, he's preaching uh, the speech or the words of uniting South Africa, the same as we say uh, we want to unite black people at the whole continent. And this is the full speech of Julius Malema. I'm suggesting working with trying to diffuse the tensions and finding a possible alternative. From when we're in the ANC yes. until now in the in the EFF. Yes. Yeah, and the when someone like that who shows up when people are moving out mm -hmm. uh, and something like this happens, um, you, you owe it to him mm -hmm. to also just show face and show your respect because yes. he did that. Mm -hmm. So I thought uh, I must come. Thank you. Yes, mm -hmm. and uh, I know. Uh, this relationship with this bus. Mm -hmm. uh, when that happened, I also called, uh, called them yes. yeah, to send my condolences to them because I know that. Thank you. Yes. He was uh, definitely belonged to the nation, mm -hmm. and um, I appreciate that you came mm -hmm. and you're here, mm -hmm. and also that so many uh, political leaders have a soft spot for him. Yes because he belonged to the common goal of making this nation the best that it could be. Yes. And um, he had a soft spot for you. Mm -hmm. He admired you. Um, he knew you from even when you were young in politics. Absolutely. Absolutely. And um, he remembered you fondly. Mm -hmm. And um, I think that it's only fitting that you could be with us today. Yes. So thank you for, for making time to be here. You look so handsome and oh. so happy. <laughs> Uh, you know, I feel a bit underdressed today. No, no, can no, appreciate no that we are, yeah. we are hosting so much, but, but he definitely he he enjoyed your company. Yes, yes. yes. And he used to he used to always talk to me, especially mm. when you're in the media. Mm. And uh, he enjoyed mm. he enjoyed he enjoyed how you were passionate mm. and how passionate mm. uh, for the country. You know, mm. so 
Yes, absolutely. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. I, um, we have our support. The church is here. You are in charge. Um, we are here to support the church. Thank you so much. Yes. Um, this league is must be protected. Yes. Um, um, there is no one who can claim him politically because he was there for all of us. Yes. And uh, that's why we find it very easy for us to come because we know that the uh, political affiliation it has never bothered us. Um, he always preached to us. The good for the country. Um, even, even in Parliament, he came uh, to try. And when we started in Parliament, there was a serious commotion you know, from 2014 with Zuma and all of that. They came to come mm. and try and maintain peace. Yeah, and um, we came to look for us some other way, some uh, a place in. That was Mahalis. Was Mahalis. Mahalis. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he came all the way. So we said, no, Pastor, when we finish, we'll come there. He said, no, I'm coming there. Mm-hmm. And he uh, was trying to, you know, share what are the possible solutions to mm-hmm. what was prevailing at the time. So, um, like I said, he will reach out. And mm-hmm. he will always try to reach out and find a yeah. uh, common ground. Some, he succeeded. Some he failed, but he never failed to try. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and that was what, what was courageous about him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. And for, for, for a while past, I will always find it very, you know, fascinating that he goes into the areas where we thought, no, the white pastors won't come in, and they will be sensitive about, no, he comes in, he doesn't see himself as a white person. Mm-hmm. Engages with you from the same level, not from a level of superiority. Mm-hmm. Makes you comfortable and makes you to want to open up mm-hmm. uh, uh, on political questions, on social questions, mm-hmm. on economic issues. Um, comfortable in any area. Mm-hmm. Doesn't say, no, let's meet only the restaurant or the church or in the suburbs. You are in deep slot, yeah. you want to come. Mm-hmm. Uh, you are anywhere. It just, it just tell me uh, where you are. I'll come. Mm-hmm. That's when you see it's a man of God, so he knows that I have nothing but the protection of God. So whatever happens yes. where I'm going, yes. it's not in my hands. Yes. Yeah. So but I'm going to go there yes. and preach for, to those guys what needs to happen. Mm-hmm. It is up to them whether they accept it or not. Yeah. yeah. And I think I think um, he, obviously he would share with me extensively. Mm-hmm. You know, I was. Um, I was. I had a unique upbringing mm-hmm. from the perspective that I went to privileged schools, mm-hmm. but my dad was very conscious of raising me to understand uh, what life was like for other South Africans. Yes. Mm-hmm. Um, always, if we were somewhere conscious of, if we took food home from a restaurant, it could be the nicest restaurant mm-hmm. in in the nicest mall, mm-hmm. but then on the way home, we're looking for someone who has nothing to eat, and we're sharing. Our food and, and, and very consciously exposing me mm-hmm. as a young person mm-hmm. to what was going on yes. around us outside of the bubble mm-hmm. uh, mm-hmm. of you know being afforded the economic opportunity to be raised in in a privileged home. Mm-hmm. But um, one of the things that I'll never forget is um, he really felt called to play a role yeah. in the future of the nation. Mm-hmm even being afforded the opportunity to potentially move overseas. Mm -hmm. Um, He always felt a connection to the soil, Mm -hmm. to the struggle of people Mm -hmm. in the nation. And there was a tipping point as a young man Mm -hmm. in the early parts of the struggle where he was an eyewitness to violence and to the riots and the massacres Mm -hmm. and right in the middle of um, everything that happened in Boi and all Mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. And um, that changed him. And, um, you know, one of the things that I really heard him say recently because obviously he was challenged with the challenges of the nation and experiencing load shedding himself <laughs> you know <laughs> no one no one is above those yeah, things you yeah, know um, yeah. but he really um, he really emphasized to me you young guys you need to you need to do something about this mm. you need to come together and you need to do what we did mm. so even when he asked me to step in and lead 
his spiritual legacy here. Mm -hmm. It was with the mantle to further the spirit yes. of the church and the government working together for the future of the nation. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I feel that's so important because that is the legacy we truly want and what birthed this nation was that. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't even about you don't qualify because of your background, mm -hmm. you don't qualify because of your skin color. Mm -hmm. It was actually who is prepared to stand together for the good of the country, mm -hmm. to set aside our differences and to see a future together. Mm -hmm. And he was actually, um, in his final years, he was like, you guys need to fix this. Yes. You know, yes. and yes. I, I feel yes. like even in this moment, mm -hmm. he would be saying that. Yeah. Yeah. He would say, you guys yeah. need to be talking. Yeah. You know, yeah. see, he never allowed um, it to be about, I'm on this side or that side. Yeah. He was always on the side of the nation. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I feel he would say to us, until poverty is dealt with until education, until the people are experiencing the blessing of the nation's prosperity. Mm -hmm. Don't rest. Yes. You know, yes. irrespective of yes. even your religious. Mm -hmm. My dad um, was ill in some of the um, um, the nation's challenges over the past coming years. Mm -hmm. And um, um, some of the, the rallies that collect that everyone rallied around mm -hmm. at the point, he sent me in his place. Mm -hmm. So it was interesting because I was standing alongside the head of this faith, the head of that yeah. faith, in, in his place. Mm -hmm. And um, in, in reflection, that is what it was about, unifying mm -hmm. around the common cause, you know. Mm -hmm. And now, you know, um, we are next. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we have to uh, take the responsibility to mm -hmm. see the legacy that's been laid mm -hmm. and, 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 and mm -hmm. not rest until yeah. we can see that be a reality in the nation. Mm -hmm. So we, even as the church, we are committed to the future mm -hmm. of the country. Mm -hmm and even committed to conversations on how can Rayma be active yes. in supporting where we need to be as a nation. Yes.